It's live with Miss T on DFWIRadio.com, and you know, uh, self care is important. We have to learn how you know how to get ourselves together, make sure we good. One with oneself. I can't. I won't tell y'all all the rituals I'll be taking myself through. <laughs> but today we're talking about investing in yourself, and I have the amazing, awesome. She's not just a life coach; she's a life transformation coach. Miss Zondra Evans is in the studio with us today. How you doing? I am doing outstanding. How are you today? <laughs> I am great. <laughs> live, live, as always. Yes. Just live. You found a place, okay? Absolutely. <laughs> Look, I am from DF Dude. No, I appreciate it. You know, <laughs> you know, sometimes people be telling us they have little problems every once in a while. Oh, so. okay. But let's just go ahead and get right into the swigging thing. Why is investing in yourself so important? You know, uh, it, it, it's a loaded question you're <laughs> asking me, but I guess we got time to talk about it. We got time. I'm going to tell you that I believe that the most valuable resource is you. Mm -hmm. You're the most valuable asset, and if you don't take the time to invest in yourself, who will? Listen, now how did you get on this journey? Because, you know, everybody, you had to, that had to have been a process, you know. <laughs> Well, you know, but look, I, like, you know, it, we could have used some chemicals and process some things up. Tell, tell us the process of how you got to, got to you. You know, it's been a journey. It's been a journey. See, now, you probably wouldn't believe okay. that I've been in corporate America 40 years. Now, they were hiring when they were nine, so I know you don't use. Listen, well, you know, I remember when Clinton was president. <laughs> sister in 96. I, I, I can go back that A little far. bit, right? I can go back that far. So, corporate America 40 so years and now I figured out early on um, that I needed to invest in myself and that it was very important for me to really know who I was, why I'm here and then start to walk in that destiny. I, I think one thing that happens is that we are afraid, literally afraid to ask for support and the resources we need because it makes us look weak. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, you don't know that? Mm -hmm. It's okay not to know. If you don't know how to navigate your journey, it's a beautiful thing to ask someone, can you help me? Listen. So I've had lots of mentors over the last 40 years of my life. And that's something we don't like to do. I, I, don't, I don't know why is it that sometimes mm -hmm. we don't like to say, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm in a rough spot right now and mm -hmm. I need some help kind of getting out of this but you have a book that's coming up and november will be here before you know it. they was laughing at me because i was talking about christmas see just she, it's with christmas right around the corner <laughs> it's right around i don't know what we're talking about here it's right around the corner y'all it's right around the corner but no let's talk about the new book that's coming out on november the third the power of investing in you i am so so excited about this book. And it's been a long time in the making, you all. So uh, I, I, I was really supposed to launch the book in April, but I became a grandma again. Really? With my fifth grandbaby. Now, now, and, now I have to tell you, we, at any moment now, we could probably get a call. Speaking of my, my sister, my baby sister is pregnant. Yeah. And so um, if, if, if she goes into labor, yeah. uh, uh, Ms. Zondra, yes. be there you go. <laughs> Hey, so I respect that. Yes. Yeah, so, you know, so I ended up going to Atlanta, Georgia. And so that delayed the book. Okay. Um, that should have been launched in April. But uh, when I figured out the title of the book and the content of the book, I want it to be a quick read. So mm -hmm. it's a quick read. It's okay. probably about 70 pages. Um, it's a small book, but the book is very powerful because I tell you, the go through the journey of how important it is step by step. And the very first chapter is, is there a crack in your foundation? Mm, now yeah. let's go ahead and get right into that. Let's, what get, we let's get on into let's, that. Let's, let's get on into that. Tell us about the foundation. What's so, that? So, you know what? I use a lot of analogies and metaphors when I speak. So, mm -hmm. if I were, if you were to think about a foundation, and all of us got a big mama's house that mm -hmm. we've been to, to and uh, it's, it's 80 years old, 90 mm -hmm. years old, and mm -hmm. sometimes you go in and you start kind of running downhill a little bit. 
there's there's something wrong in the foundation. And we know that before the house starts running down the hill because we see actually a little crack, a hairline crack mm -hmm. in the wall. And most of us will actually go in and just go, I'm going to make this a faux wall and we'll cover it up. It's but it's an indication there's something in the base of what is, you know, in that house needs to be fixed. Well, we are just like a house. Sometimes we have a hairline crack and we will ignore that hairline crack instead of fixing our foundation. You can fix a foundation before it gets to the point it's running downhill because when your life starts to run downhill, it's out of control. You're out of control. So why not kind of do a self-analysis and be able to, you know, look at yourself, turn yourself inside out and figure out where are the cracks in my foundation? What I, do I need? I guess the real question then is how can I recognize if I have a crack in my foundation? Confidence, lack of trust, fear, like the now, anxiety, the lack, the lack of the trust. Stress. I, 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 <laughs> That's... <laughs> It's very difficult to trust people just and I guess to trust period in the society that we live in um, just you know we have several things everything's fake that's not real you know this is you know everybody maybe we're making adjustments to our body image to what we read to what we see so mm -hmm. I mean, maybe you know maybe me feel some type of way when you see it but, I, but I'm listening so if these people have if people find themselves continuously having these things and maybe is something that they should dig into? It is absolutely something you should dig into. But here's the thing. Most people don't have the courage to do that. Okay. They'll say, you know what? No, that's not really it. I'm going to give you an example. It's like bowling. Okay. You know, if you ain't never really been bowling or you really don't know how to bowl, do you know that when you ask people that haven't bowled before, would you like to go bowling? They'll make up everything in the world. Oh, no, I don't like to do that. Oh, my nails are too long. Oh, no, -uh. that's not for me. But it's only because you don't know how to do it. And you don't want to put yourself in a situation where you feel lesser than. So I'll make up an excuse for it. Nobody wants to. Everybody wants to feel like, you know, they're, they're a star and they're very own. They right. really do. But that's starting a little crack. Just be true to thine own self. Be true. You know, I think about, still you talk about everybody's fake. You're right. But you know what you have to do? Stay in your lane. Serve the authentic, genuine you. And don't worry about nobody else. Just make sure they stay in their lane. Listen, worry about yourself. That's what she said. <laughs> worry about you. Because you know what? That's enough. That's enough in itself, you know. Uh, as a coach, I look at all parts of life. I look at spirituality. Where are you at in that? I look at your career, your finances, your social, your intimate relationships. Everything is a part of you. And in one or two or many of those categories, we're all struggling. But do we have the courage to address it? I say it's like dissecting a frog. Everybody did it in high school. Do you have the courage to dissect yourself and pull things out by the root that don't belong there? Wow. And start discovering things that are not there. Now, you <clears throat> help assist people get that courage because you even offer a free first session to... to you know, and most people don't give you. I don't give you nothing for free. So, <laughs> so you just need to have so just one. one. One is free and one, one will help. Tell us about your program and the services that you offer. Oh, my goodness. It is so broad. So, so let, me, let, me, let me just kind of start off. Yes, I'm a certified professional life leadership and transformation yes, coach. Yes, 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 she got a, she's certified. Certified. <laughs> I, I, no, yeah, I ain't just on the street now, I'm certified. <laughs> you know, I went to school for this, and I think that that is, um, that, that's a good thing. There are a lot of life coaches today that say, I'm a life coach. You go life coaching because I got the life experience. I'm life coaching because I got life experience and the certification. Come through! But you know, that's the type, put the camera on me. That's the type of people that I support. No, but seriously. Because we got a lot of people who are adapting titles and occupations yes. to themselves, and they didn't go through any of the training to deem yourself worthy of that. So, no, I support it. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. So I do life coaching, and that's actually my love. I mean, if I had to say that the thing that I love, I love coaching people individually and having them really recognize their true potential. 
Okay. People come out of the coaching sessions really understanding who they are, why they, they're they here, and what is their true purpose in life. Because I think we're walking around here. If I were to ask the folks in, in this studio today, what's your purpose? Could people really say what it is in total confidence? And they'd probably be no. It'd be like, well, I'm a mom, I'm a sister, I'm going to be an auntie. Ah, I'm going to be me! <laughs> But really, who are you? Why are you here? So that's one thing that I do. I'm also a motivational speaker. So I speak uh, life into women uh, about how to live a life um, that is worthy, that you feel worthy, that you know your self-worth. And then I am a, I, I sponsor tours for uh, speakers and, and I'm an author and now just as of last weekend, or I should say two weeks ago, I am a TV personality. I have my Yay. own channel on Roku. Tell us more. Tell us how we can find you. Make sure we get all of that information. I, I don't have that. I ain't written down here anywhere. <laughs> so well, tell us about the show. The easiest way is to go to uh, CoachZondra.com. It's easy. CoachZondra, Z-O-N-D-R-A.com. Uh, and you can find out about all my services. I also have a webinar service that's called Real Talk with Zandra. That is actually a time for women to be able to sit in the comforts of their own home and get positive motivation. Now, I know for most people, lots of times, as you said, we won't go into something because we're scared of the outcome. Just as the analogy that you use with bowling, that we'll come up with an excuse. Tell us, people don't know what a life coach session may be. Is. We don't know what to expect. We don't know uh, what to walk into. So I, I, yeah, I, me too. I, I hope I'm not going to regret that. So <laughs> I, I hope I'm not going to regret what I'm about to say. So let's, let's coach a little bit. <laughs> You want to get a little yeah, let's, let's, well, you know, we could try to do a little coaching. I'm going to tell you the way it works, though, because I, I want to make sure that everybody is level. There's a level playing field here. I have been trained to be an energy coach. Okay. And so, because everything in the world is energy. Mm -hmm. And so, for me, um, as a coach, I don't do any face-to-face -face coaching. I don't do any Skype coaching because I've been trained to hear. So I do only phone coaching. You call me on a phone, and I will talk to you, and I will ask you questions. Now, here's the thing. The answers lie within each one of you in this room. The answers are already there, but you don't have the courage to access those an the answer to what is really your problem and actually execute on it. So I help people to do that. I think that's awesome because a lot of times, you know, we won't, if I don't have to look at a person, more of the truth may come out. And I it, it, it's more, um, I don't have to worry about how I look or present myself in front of you because you just have to listen. And we don't have to worry about, you know, if I start sobbing and crying, I don't have to be embarrassed about crying in front of you because you can't see me. <laughs> So that's, that, that's awesome. That's awesome. Tell the people one more time exactly how they can get in contact with you. So you can get in contact with me at my, on my website and uh, request a complimentary session. I always tell folks, you know, if you have uh, nothing other than the courage to um, access a complimentary session, do that. And from that complimentary session, then we will create a, a greater depth of courage in you to be able to do what you'd like to do. So go to www dot coach zandra z o n d r a dot com so i put i everybody listening get your complimentary session it don't cost a dime listen! it's 30 you, minutes you, for me to listen i love the way she you. said get your complimentary session get your fuck session for the free okay <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just have to tell the people, you know, I, I love when everybody comes into the studio and they, you know, come for the free, okay? Now, you're not just going to put it to them like it really is. You got to talk to them like that. They, they, they understand. <laughs> <laughs> they understand. Tell us I'm excited about your um, new series on Ruku. So, tell us what, what are we going to see there? Well, um, I think it's going to be a variety of things. Now, um, you know, I think it's going to be lifestyle driven. Um, and so, it will be various different things, um, i.e., you know, a little bit of a talk show feel for, uh, you know, women on the couch talk about different things like dating in the new millennium and uh, social media and how does that work for you mm -hmm. and then that sounds like a topic that yeah, I need to come get on the couch you, and talk about you can, probably need to get can, on the couch can, can, I, can I put my feet up <laughs> 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 
<laughs> get on couch. Let's talk about this thing. So, um, you know, that's one topic. And then the other topic that I uh, shot this weekend was being married. And really, how do you stay married in the new millennium? Because you've got all of this. Uh, T- tell them, because stuff. I don't know. That, see, this is the kind no, of No, no, I can't tell you because I, I've been married three times. I don't know. I don't what know. The- I've been married a few times. I was, I was asking the question and going like, <laughs> oh, for real? Is that how you do it? <laughs> Now, is there a way we can go back and watch that? Because, you know... Well, actually, my Roku channel is probably going to start in November. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not ready to bring it up quite yet because I've got to get a whole lineup of folks that are going to be on there with different shows. So, uh, we'll be talking to Nisha listen, about listen, how to get listen. on there. <coughs> Hello, can I get on? Y'all, write her right, right, right now. Tell her that you want Miss T to be on. Yeah. Listen, she'll have different hair that day. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. No, but it's cute, though. Listen, I love it. We'll see. And I, people always talk about wearing wigs and different things of this sort. Yes. And that, you know, why would you do that when you have hair? Because I like the stability. Not nah, don't don't talk about her. Because this one wears them all the time and will take it's them okay. off if she gets hot. It's okay. <laughs> will. And will change it in the I'm, middle of the day. Y'all be sitting up her time like, girl, and you had green hair. Now it's I got right. blue hair. It's all right. It's We were at a very professional meeting and and she got a warm and I just turned around and just we were working with the children and the children the children looked back and she said they said oh she takes off her hair <laughs> 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 it, was, it was so embarrassing <laughs> it, it was it was so embarrassing but no I do it, it allows you to be it's for fun so, you know sometimes you know gotta just it is good this is what I'm feeling like I'm feeling like Diana today yeah. Well, you look amazing. Thank you. You, you look do amazing. it as well. You do it as well. I, you know, it just happens. That listen, that's my confidence. That's, that's good. You got some. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. We, don't let that wig wear you. You wear the wig. No, I'm serious. I, I, I I'm asking I the people, that. the viewers. Though I'm thinking about doing. Uh, week tutorials. Everybody always asks me, you know, about my hair and things of that sort. So I, that would be. We're, 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 we're gonna see. Let we're me know. See. Is that gonna be on YouTube? Yeah. Where it's gonna be? Let me we're, know. We're, we're gonna see. I'm, 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 I'm thinking about it. That's what they're asking me to do. Uh, and I, you know, they always bring me something. I'll be like, let me see if that's something that I really can do. Because yeah. I don't like to start anything that I can't fully commit to, and then I'm not gonna. I do, understand. You know, that's that. I thing. understand. Now your passion is women and women leaders, and, and it just seems like um, in the city of Dallas we are having a takeover of women leadership, black women leadership. Can mm-hmm. I say that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> we we are. Why is it so important to, for you to feed into those leaders? Why is that your purpose? Uh, let me so so. Let me back up and tell you that I've been appointed as the chapter president for. Um, a female entrepreneur, women's mastermind, and collaboration. And so I held the first launch meeting this last Monday, and it was absolutely amazing. I accepted the role as the chapter president for one reason. It's because I want to be able to show other leaders and help other leaders understand that there's so much power in us collaborating together, and there's enough out here for everyone. But I find that we really don't know how to be a leader. We think if I get somebody better than I am, then it's going to minimize me. And what we need to learn how to do is get somebody better you preach than you. you so preach you can now. maximize your potential. That's, that's real leadership. So teaching people about that type of leadership. Let's talk more about that type of leadership because we find that just in, in there's room for everyone. Mm-hmm. I, I tell people all the time, or we started a new segment that we're getting ready to, Carmen Keys, who was a personality in her own right. Mm-hmm. Um, she's been a part of the station, and I said, I want you to come in and do a segment and just talk about music because that's what you do good. You talk about music. Yeah. You know, I yes. have to take, but I, you have to capitalize on what, and go ahead, come to the show. And I'm mm-hmm. somebody said, so you going to start bringing in other people to do segments on your show? Yeah. I mean, people who watch my lab bit myself for me to have a fun, they don't still do that. It's, it's okay to be supportive right. and to work with each other. Um, how can we learn how to be better leaders? You know, it, um, this all comes down to your individuality. Okay. It, it all stems back to... What are your gremlins inside of you? Come on, gremlins. And do you have the courage 
to dissect your own self. See, we, we play like we okay, but you know that you're not okay. You know that you feel jealousy. You know that you feel envy, and there is a difference. You know, you know when you're feeling as though you're incompetent. Dissect that and understand where is that coming from because some of that stuff is deeply rooted in us and, and because of the limitations our parents or other people have put on us over time. You, before I go to my next question, jealousy and envy. Tell the people the difference between the two. Oh, yeah. Let me just tell you, you can be jealous. Um, and jealousy is really about wanting what somebody has. But you can be envious. And it comes out in a different way. And it sounds like this. Girl, I want to be just like you. They don't mean it. Not always do they mean that. But they envy you. Listen, that, she working. <laughs> she working. Because that's one of those but things. But no, I hear her. Oh, no, no, I, I, oh, trust me. <laughs> the ear is always there. Mm -mm. Because that, that the envy is one of the things that people struggle with so much, especially mm -hmm. when it comes to their, their leadership styles. Exactly. They start focusing so much on what you doing. That's right. Rather than. What they, they should be doing. Them. What they should be doing. <laughs> what they should be doing. But you, but it comes out like that. Or, oh, when I grow up, I want to be like you. No, you want to be like you. Mm -hmm. See, you, you should want to be like who you are. I should want to be like who I am. God made us unique and different for a reason. It's to serve the world, to serve the universe. Listen. So to just be you. To serve a purpose. Like, the, like everybody has a purpose. Now, Let's talk more about purpose. Mm -hmm. How can, because let's be honest, there are some people who we would love to, we could harp on and we can preach night after night and talk about, you know, make sure it's a free first session. And da -da 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 -da. We can say all of that. Mm -hmm. But some people, they're going to only get these few minutes that we're sitting here talking. True that. How can you determine what your purpose is and what you're meant, you've been put on earth here to do? Well, I'll tell you this. It's kind of simple. Um, and of course, everybody say it ain't simple to figure out your purpose, but it's that thing. It's that thing that you love more than you love anything else in the world. And when you do it, whenever, whatever that is, it brings you joy that you cannot describe. There are not words that you can associate with that thing that is, that you love to do. And nine times out of ten, that's your purpose. We also get hung up because we think we only have one purpose. You know, you may have two or three purpose um, purposes that live within you. But it's that thing that brings you unspeakable joy. Whatever that thing is, that's probably part of your purpose. But I think where we get hung up at is, uh, how's that going to make me money? Well, where did money come from? Because if you're walking listen. your purpose, the money will come. Say it again. Because if you walk in your purpose, the money will come. Stop putting the money before uh, figuring out how to have complete joy in your life. Figure out complete joy first. That thing that sets you on fire and the money will come. I just want to give a shout out to everybody who's watching in on Facebook. Shout out to Patrick Collier, Crystal Jordan, um, Dietra uh, Carrier. I hope I'm pronouncing it as she says, yes, I'm loving this. Um, <laughs> so everyone that's tuning in, she said, she was talking specifically, stay in your lane. Yes, I'm loving this. <laughs> I'm loving this. Shout out to everybody who's watching via Facebook Live. Remember, you can always see what's happening inside the studio. All you have to do is log on to Miss T. Yep, that's me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> on Facebook. Don't add to it. I don't... Sandra, it just came to me and I just started saying it. It's, it's me. <laughs> it's me. I hope you're enjoying yourself. I've had a wonderful time. Listen, tell the people one more time. We try to say it over and over again so they get it, how they can follow you. Very simple. First of all, I'm on Facebook too. Zondra Evans. I Zondra Z is in zebra. O N D R A. Put in Zondra, you'll find me. You'll find Real Talk with Zondra. Who uses Coach Zondra? Zondra Evans. Uh, and then I have a website that's very simple. It is CoachZondra.com. That is me. And if you want to give me a jingle, you can do that too. It's uh, four six nine seven one two seven one six eight. So either way, you can reach me. 
I love it. I love it. I love it. How would the sessions normally start? So what do you ask me? I, I call in. Hey, Miss Andres, you know, it's, it's tea. Yeah. Um, hey, now what? I, you know, I, I want people to feel comfortable. Okay. So, you know, thank you so much. I honor people when they call me because I think that people need to know that I honor you for taking the courage to call me. So that's the first thing. So I applaud you for that. And then we go into what a life coach is and isn't. And then I'll say... What is a life coach is and isn't? A life coach is not a therapist. Okay. I'm not a sports coach. It ain't no win-win. What you're experiencing in your life is real. And I'm here to walk as your unbiased partner to get rid of that stuff in your life. Um, and I am not a counselor. I am a coach. And what a coach does is a coach walks side by side with you I'm on the sideline and I'm coaching you forward in your life. I'm I don't the answers don't lie within me, they mm -hmm. lie within each one of my clients. And my job is to listen and then go, what does that mean? And help me understand that. And the more we talk about it, the more we start to weed out that stuff that shouldn't be in your life. Fix the foundation. Fixing the foundation. Fix, fix the crack. We be fixing the foundation. Listen, and you be giving homework assignments and writing assignments. No, you know, I don't like believe in a lot of homework because, you know, okay. I, I, I didn't like homework. Okay. So, you know what? I don't want a whole bunch of homework I assignments. I love it. I love It'd be it. like a one page of, like, think about this and we'll talk about it the next time. I really don't do a lot of homework um, because I don't. I think that people have other things to think about, but I give simple things. And let me, can I give you one simple mm -hmm. thing that I give as a part of my uh, complimentary? I ask people to do something for me when they get off the phone. Uh, I'd like for you that every morning when you get up, don't most of us look into the mirror and brush our teeth. Um, and then you look at, in your eyes and your eyes are the window to your soul. So when you have your mouth shut, your ears open and your eyes piercing back into the window of your soul, ask the question, why am I here? And at first you gonna hear stuff like, don't forget to pick up spaghetti for dinner tonight. Don't forget to get dry cleaning. But if you continue to ask yourself in sincerity and look back into the window of your soul through your own eyes, you'll find out why you're here. I promise you. I, I, I love that. You know, can I can I tell y'all a very intimate moment? So y'all y'all know y'all follow me on Facebook. So my mm -hmm. mom on Facebook and on Instagram posted this picture today oh. of me. Did y'all see it today mm -hmm. of me when I was, I guess... Michelle wasn't born yet, so I may have been around seven years old. We were in Chicago um, at um, the Children's Museum. They have a little <laughs> segment set up there where children can do new segments and things of that sort. Yeah, yeah. And we're trying to, we're, we're really trying to grow the show. Told you we're getting prepared to celebrate our four year anniversary. Yeah. We've changed out a lot of different systems, changed the way we do our Facebook Live and everything. And people, you know, we're saying that they like it. But if I'm my hardest critic, so I'm always, my team will tell you that. She I, get on my nerves! <laughs> love me, though. <laughs> but you're part of the team. I'm still here. Oh, oh she she <laughs> but, but you're on the team. But you're on the team. But you're on the team. <laughs> but you ain't going to quit, are you? No. She ain't going to fire me, neither, because whoever else trying to get this position going to have to fight me. <laughs> but um, I the post was going on. It was to talk about that this is not just something that I picked up. That this is something that I want to do. And I looked into that little girl's eyes in the picture. And I just started crying tears. Because I realized that how much work that it's taken. That I haven't already got a lot of yeses and nos and things of that sort. But I saw some. I was reminded. That little girl is kind of always with me. But I saw the hunger in her eye. And it did something for me. And I was like, you okay. You know. This ain't going through, but I'm not gonna stop. You know, we we just do this, keep doing this, you know, and then it's gonna work out. Cause I I I, I got to do this, not for me, for that little girl. Like I yeah. I can't let her down. And the little girl with me. The point is, uh, it was a very touchy moment, and I yeah, I'm not gonna cry for y'all on Facebook. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm not gonna do. That's what I'm not gonna do. But I will tell you that I did get a little misty eyed all over again. Yes, yes. <laughs> Sandra, it has been a pleasure having you in, talking about Thank investing. You. Um, and ourselves. Give us just some quick tips that we can do just to invest more in ourselves. 
You know, the first thing is, is that we, um, especially as women, need to learn how to spend um, very deliberate, quiet time with ourselves. We don't know how to do that. No phone, no none, no, nothing. Mm -hmm. And all I want you to do is to sit there and think about your life and the things that you need to fix in your life, the things that need to be modified in your life. Because I'm not a big thing of a person about change, but you surely can modify. So I think you should... Be deliberate. Schedule at least once a month a half hour to yourself. You owe it to yourself. I say early mornings is a great time. Don't don't be don't do do anything else. Just sit there quietly because we can't sit quiet for thirty minutes. For thirty minutes, she just wants me to sit there. Thirty quiet. minutes. Thirty minutes. Who gonna sit quiet? Once a month. We just sit do there. Me and you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because you know you gonna hear some things you don't want to hear. That's oh. why we don't sit still. Mm -hmm. Um, but if you can't do 30, start with 15. I'll so be you can start, with, start with 15. Let, let's start with 15. I'll be all down there and work out where you Let's start with 15. And then the other thing that I think is really important is that we learn how to speak, stand, and um, walk in our truth. Okay. And truly do that and do that well. But here's what I want to tell you about that. Sometimes we take it to another level that we think, oh, yeah, I'm speaking my truth. And it's raw. It ain't got to be wrong. Mm -hmm. Let me give you my three H's. You should never hurt, harm another. Hurt or harm another. That anything you do should only be to help someone else. That's my three H's. So, yes, yeah, speak, stand, and walk in your truth. But how you do that should never be to hurt or harm another. Listen, she speaks. Miss Zondra yeah. Evans has been giving. Well, she's gonna have to go find her on Facebook because I got to find her another thirty minutes. <laughs> oh, Jesus, <laughs> she didn't talk to me today. <laughs> she don't talk I'm to over me. here hurting people. I'm hurting. I'm hurt. my petty. You know me. You hurt. I'm hurting people. Get a word. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to go talk to her for thirty minutes. I'm gonna be calling you. Okay. <laughs> so much for coming to the show. Thank you I, for having we me. We have to get you to come in more. You know, it's, it's important that we have people like you, professional people like you, who will help to get us into the right direction to help us transform our life. Tell the people one more time before we go how they can follow you. Easy. CoachZondra.com. You can request a complimentary session at www.CoachZondra.com or you can call 469-712-7168. Thank you so much, Ms. Zondra, right. for coming in. Make sure you guys get her book, The Power of Investing in You. It's yes. going to hit the stores on November the 3rd. Yes, We're excited for you. And then we'll keep on the lookout for the new show on Roku. I'll let you know when it's coming. Listen, you have to. It's like I can sit on the couch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really, right there on the couch. <laughs> Tell me all about this, Miss T. Yes. Miss <laughs> T is our own brand. Who you who, who wait? Who's invited? Is Miss T invited or is Tanisha invited? Because we don't know. Well, you know they invest a difference. We talking about all day. <laughs> tomato, tomato. <laughs> I kind of just wanted the real. Is this a real thing? And which one is it? I mean, you know, they both are very real. But you know, one gets to be a little bit more realer than sometimes the world will allow her to. You know, Miss T just says what else she okay, wants to well, say. Okay, Tanisha, you come on. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. Beauty it, got thrown off the chair. What's she saying? I got a whole brand. Oh, oh, just rinse me. Oh, oh, no. Listen, I get some trouble. Sometimes they like, mm mm, mm. They can't. No, last sorry. year, last week, I was having a whole. Miss Sandra, I'll be honest with you. You know, we got a lot going on in the city of Dallas, and I was having a whole moment, and I yeah, wanted yeah. to play NWA. And they said, Tanisha, don't play that. <laughs> okay, I mean, but all of my songs was in. Yeah, yeah. This is a <laughs> no, I, I, all of my songs was like that. They came in here and said, mm -mm, "No, not today. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, no, right. no, don't do that today. Like, like, be mad, but not that mad." To be sure, okay. You, I got you. You're right. And I but, still um, got in trouble for you. <laughs> Right, right, right. I but I that. love it. Thank you so much. Thank You're you so welcome. much. We'll make sure that our, our listeners keep up with you. And you really did give us some good tips to make us, you know, check ourselves before check we for, for our foundation fall down and crack. Because, you know, if you don't fix the foundation. The house is going down. It, it eventually is it's going, going down. down. Like, people don't understand. <laughs> it's a bit. If you, you keep patching that all you want to. But this, and this eventually, is. you're going to have a whole wall just on the inside of the house. Like, it, it's going to happen. Um, it's live with Miss T on DFWRadio.com. We're going to.